Hello, this is Marta and Rick. Rick. Yeah. Okay, with Don't Drive By in a Bee, and we're here also. We've got Max, and we are in Mead, Kansas, headed to the Dalton Gang Hideout, right? And museum. And so that's what we're going to be talking about. And if you will just stay tuned, we'll be right back. We have, we'll have to turn to you. Good. Hi, this is Marta with Don't Drive By in a Bee, and we are at the Dalton Gang Hideout, and this is in Mead, Kansas. We're going to go through the, uh, take a look at this and go through the museum, so stay tuned. Original house. The entrance is down here. Oh, but you can get a oops, sorry. You can get a picture of it. Well. All right, there's the uh Dalton Gang hide hideout. And uh Bell. Like Barda was saying, today we're at uh, Mead, Kansas. We always go through here and never stop. So that's why we call it Don't Drive By. This time we didn't drive by and we're seeing the museum. This is the Dalton Gang hideout and uh, museum. So we'll show you what it looks like. No. He came up here and walked around. Oh, really? Of the skunk? Yeah. Luckily, we missed him. Yeah, really. So, you guys have performances here? Uh, let's see. Uh, are you going to be staying here at all? No. Uh, yeah, the 5th of July 5th. I mean, the 5th. The 5th of June, I think it is. Uh, I could be wrong, but there's going to be a big thing here with a car stolen. Oh, wow. And, uh, they're going to have live music. He's one of the musicians in there. And, uh, yeah, it's really, I was thinking you were filming it sometime, but better let you know. <laughs> but he just came right up here, walked around, people went on down here. Evidently, he just wanted to check things out. Just check everything out here. Where are, where are you guys from? Well, we're from Nebraska. There we go. All that right. little yellow house on the hill, that was Eva Dalton's house. She's a sister of these three gentlemen right here, and I use that term quite loosely. But the tunnel leads up to her house. There's no exit up there. You have to come back out this way. And then behind you up those stairs in the hayloft overhead, we have a museum. Now this tunnel is not what the original tunnel was. Outlaws are a little bit too lazy to do something like that. The original tunnel was a wharf between the house and the barn. And they just kind of cleared it out, covered it with timber, then covered the timber with dirt. Mm -hmm. So what you see there was done in 1940 by the National Youth Administration of WPA. Okay. And they uh, 
rediscover the tunnel back in 1937 when lightning struck the barn and burned it down. They come out here to clean the debris away and lo and behold, they found a hole in the wall. Leading the tunnel, it leads right up to the house. At the other end of the tunnel, where you go up the stairs, there's there was no stairs, it was a closet. And you go up in a, into the closet into the house. So, of course, well, they had to rechange, they had to change that around when they made this a historical uh, place. Uh, this became a historical site. Um, several years ago, we were part of the National Registry of Historic Places, also state registry. So, because of the WPA work they did here. So, they did that tunnel. So, what you mm. see there is not the original. <laughs> not okay. the original. It was a hole in the... It won't, like you would say, a washed out area yeah. that they used to go from one place to the other. Yeah. Well, that that was very convenient for uh, yeah. that gang, I guess. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> and this so is... we just go kind of go there, stop, yeah. and then come up stairs, yeah. huh? Okay. Yeah, if you have any questions when you get back, I'll do my best to answer them. Okay. If I can't answer them, I'll tell you a good story. Okay. <laughs> I'll make up a there you, you make up a good story. <laughs> so you, you do... Uh, some um, plays and stuff every oh, yeah. once in a while? We do, we do melodrama down there once a year, and then I have a, a bluegrass band that we sing down there. In fact, the 5th of July, uh, 5th of June, uh, uh, we're coming up with a uh, uh, 80, this would be the 80th anniversary of this being a historical site. It became a historical site in June 6th, 1941. Well, June the 6th, of uh, this year would be 80 years and so we're having an 80 year celebration and we're going to have music and all that kind of stuff and so we're just going to kind of celebrate. This is a tunnel. Hmm? This is the Dalton Gang Tunnel. Hmm. They, they didn't have a tunnel, they had a wars, but now it's a, this shows you how far Going back and forth, if uh, somebody came and was looking for them, they had a way out of the house. Well, it was still a tunnel yeah. in a way. It just wasn't, it was covered up with wasn't wood. fancy, like, you know, this. finished off like this. Now we're walking into that house. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like he said, that whole thing was like in a closet, so they would never know that there was an escape route there. Huh. Mm -hmm. So this must have been the... The little house. Well, yeah. So they had a, there was a little kitchen. I'll let you get living Living room. Well, did they have a... There was a stove in there, and there was a stove out here. They tried to preserve this as best they can, I'm sure. And smaller back then. I just hit my head. Mm, uh, shorter. Yeah, they were shorter. Huh. And then uh, the, the bedroom the here. Who lived in this house after uh, the sister probably or whoever, you know, after they uh, left. Uh, the people there are the ones that discovered the tunnel. Hmm. Now this is the museum part of it.
This is that Coffeeville raid. They're having a celebration. In Coffeeville, Kansas. Ratton Hanley, Mason Frakes, Bill Dalton, Emmett Dalton. And Robert Rennick was Bob Dalton. 